Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Capacity Days is their biggest sale of the season. Check out their super bonus buys throughout the store. By the Heiser Automotive Group. Visit one of their many locations or shop online at heiser.com. By Time Warner Cable. Order the all the best package, three great services on one simple bill at one low price. By Pick and Save, the official grocer of Preps Plus. And by Freighter the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice, it's academic. And by Lackey and Joys. Find a great selection of spring clothing and outerwear, footwear, camping, and paddle sports. We're at Brookfield East High School for the season finale of Preps Plus. Hi, I'm your host, Gary Howard, and welcome to Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. This week, we've got early season baseball and softball highlights, plus track and field, golf, and much, much more. But we'll start this week off on the baseball diamond with a young man who hits the ball real hard, but hits the books even harder. Brad Preter, my main man, swings in with our Boston Store Feature Student Athlete. Aaron Benz is rather bashful around a camera. It's an attitude that goes against the image of a modern day athlete. But Benz is not shy about his love of the game. I can't get enough of it. I really enjoy coming out here every day and hanging with everybody and playing, playing the game. Veteran coach Pat Neary has seen hundreds of players come through his program over the years. He says Aaron Benz might have the most potent swing of any of them. I haven't had a player in quite a, time, quite a while that hits the ball as hard and solid as, and, and with distance as he does. Aaron bats third in Oconomowoc's lineup. He's got power and he's expected to drive in runs. But the Raccoons are solid at the plate. They averaged about eight runs per game in their first five contests, including back-to-back 11-run -back showings. So Aaron doesn't think there's too much burden placed on his shoulders. I guess, I like, I guess I'm there to drive in runs, but I mean, we do it as a team. One through nine, we can hit the wall pretty well. And I, I guess I hit in the middle of the lineup and um, I, don't, I wouldn't say we don't really lean on one or two guys or anything like that. We all do our part. He's a solid hitter and uh, um, I, every time he comes up with runners in base, it's a good thing. Benz may not carry the highest batting average on the team, but he does hold the club's highest grade point average. Last spring, the Wisconsin Baseball Coaches Association selected Aaron to its academic all-state team. Oh, it meant a lot because obviously um, I take school pretty seriously and that's, that's why I'm here, baseball. I love playing baseball, but I'm here to go to school and everything, and so um, I do my best there. And it was, real, it was real special to be on there. At the beginning of his junior year, Aaron wasn't the starter for Oconomowoc, but his booming bat forced him into the starting lineup, and now Aaron intends to play baseball wherever he ends up in college. Aaron plays left field and serves as a DH. At six feet five inches tall, Coach Neary feels Aaron has the physical tools to continue improving. Teammate Dan Winkleman has been playing ball with Ben since they were little. He says Aaron's attitude can take him a long way too. He's quiet, but uh, he's a competitor. He loves the game of baseball. He's got a passion for the game like nobody else. He, uh, he knows everything about the game. He's our baseball guru, as Coach Neary likes to call him. Uh, yeah, he's a great kid, hard worker. He epitomizes what a student athlete is supposed to be. And uh, I, I just, I think that in terms of his attitude, I think that uh, he can go as far as he, he wants to go, both academically and as a ball player. Aaron says he enjoys school, although he doesn't have a favorite subject right now. He may be a little shy as he quietly accepts our feature student athlete plaque, courtesy of Boston Store, and immediately grabs his glove. Play ball, young fella. Anything's possible. Life's busy. Work all day, cook, clean. Wait, I can help you with that one. It's Heiser's Spring Inventory Cleaning Event, where you leave the cleaning to us. Heiser's Spring Cleanup Event. Big dealer discounts, huge savings, and get a Molly Mae $500 home cleaning with purchase of any new vehicle. Maybe you don't need the help. Maybe the kids will pitch in. Yeah, right. There are a lot of nice little sales out there. This isn't one of them. 
This is Boston Store Capacity Days, the biggest sale of the season, with thousands of ways to save, including over 150 super bonus buys. Plus, get a free gift with any Estee Lauder purchase of $29.50 or more. Spend $55 and get even more gifts. Capacity Days, not a nice little sale, a great big sale. Now through April 21st. Boston Store. Watch Preps Plus every Monday at 5 p.m. and Thursday at 4 p.m. on Time Warner Cable Sports 32. My name is Andrew. Five years ago, I took a job halfway around the world from where I grew up. I was homesick at first. My family and friends did their best to stay in touch, but there was only so much they could do. That's when I signed up for Roadrunner High Speed Online from Time Warner Cable. Faster internet? AT&T doesn't have it. Time Warner Cable does. Add Roadrunner for $19.95 or less per month. Andrew's mom, are you awake? Come in here, we ought to Sometimes it feels like I never left. College-bound high school seniors, this is your chance to receive a $1,000 college scholarship thanks to the Dan Jansen Foundation and Boston Store. If you believe you display Dan's spirit towards life, Simply pick up a college scholarship application form at your Boston Store Junior or Young Men's Department now through April 30th. Together, Boston Store and the Dan Jansen Foundation will award up to two $1,000 college scholarships. For information, call 414-475-7465. Hi, my name is Brandon Jennings from Milwaukee Bucks. You're now watching Preps Plus with my man Gary D. at Brookfield East High School for the season finale of Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. It's time for highlights from the diamond. Super smooth, Tim Muma has fast pitch action as we rock and roll the pick and save action reel. Thursday featured a Woodland Conference matchup between host New Berlin West and 09 State qualifier Greenfield. Pitching a D ruled early as Jess Alvaro snags the soft pop fly in the second. Then Martha Racky gets in on the hitter's fist. Maura Collins ranges in gloves to end the second. No score. Bottom half, UW Green Bay recruit Shannon Butts dealing. A couple of K's in the frame were still scoreless after two. The Hawks bats would awaken in the third. Sidney Woda smacks one through the left side to start things off. Two batters later, second and third now. Butts punches one through the hole between first and second. Woda and Jessica Manzik are in, 2-0 Greenfield. Andrea Solberg is next and she crushes one high and deep. It'll one-hop the fence to chase home Valerie Gerds. Her RBI double gives Greenfield a three-zip lead after three. West would battle back against Butts in the home fourth. Jess Crash Alvaro shoots one of the gap in left center for a one-out double. With Alvaro now on third, Jess Falls bangs a sharp grounder through the box for a ribby. West would trail by two after four. It's now four to one in the seventh when Greenfield brings down the hammer. Butts would rip a double to right field to play at Manzik, who had doubled earlier. It's now 5-1. Later, Allison Shell hits a frozen rope up the middle to drive in the final two runs and the nails in the coffin. Butts and the bats lead the way as Greenfield takes it eight to one, moving to three and zero on the young season. This week's big game really isn't a game, but it's definitely big. A huge track meet here at Brookfield East is our Time Warner Cable Big Game. Fifteen boys teams made the track at Brookfield East a very busy place for this 41st annual Invitational. Homestead's Danny Schiller claimed first place in the high jump. Schiller can't quite clear six feet six inches. He settled for six four. Schiller recently jumped six feet ten at an indoor meet. Onto the track now for the 400 meter dash. In this heat, Jason King of West Dallas Hale will cruise to the victory. King's time would place him fifth overall in the 400. Here's the final heat of that event. Whitefish Bay's Devonte Johnson in all blue will fly past the competition. He'd win the 400 in a time of 51.09 seconds. After catching his breath, Jason King takes his final turn in the triple jump. He'll fly 39 feet, two and a quarter inches. Of course, it's a triple jump. You gotta divide that by three, right? No? Well, then King placed fourth. 
Back to the track now for the fast heat of the 300 meter hurdles. On the right half of your screen is Brookfield East senior Aaron Thompson. He'll have some trouble with the final hurdle, but Thompson has no problem winning the race in 39.62 seconds. Thompson helped the host Spartans finish third in the team standings. Marcus Paulson of Sussex Hamilton has the pole position for the 800. Paulson won last fall's state cross country title and will run at the University of Minnesota this fall. After the first of two laps, Racine Horlick's Nick Cron is trying to keep pace with Paulson, but down the stretch, Paulson's footsteps will be all alone. He wins in a personal best time of one minute, 59.66 seconds. E.J. Wire and Stuart Van Horn of Menominee Falls followed Paulson in second and third place, respectively. The main goal is always, you know, PR every race, but, uh, you know, I always set certain goals, trying to beat certain people, you know, try and set certain uh, standards like every single race. And uh, today I accomplished those goals and went under uh, two flat for the first time 800 ever, so that was a really big accomplishment. We'll pick up the pace again for the 200 meter finals. Devontae Johnson of Whitefish Bay in lane four will beat Homestead's Gabe Genovese to the line. It was Johnson's second win of the day, while Homestead went on to win the team championship. Derek Hag of Waukesha West may be the area's most entertaining pole vaulter. His legs are fast and his face intense as he heads down the runway. Hag clears 13 feet six inches to finish in second place. But nobody could match Brookfield Central's Matt Krogman. He'll celebrate his 18th birthday by clearing 14 feet 6 inches, which matches the Greater Metro Conference record. Well, I was very relaxed. I was having a lot of fun. This is something I've been doing for a while, and I really enjoy it. And I usually do my best when I just come out and relax, so that's what I try and do every week. I've been shooting for around 15 or 15 6 this year at the end, so it always feels good to move up, but I'm never quite there, so can't wait for that day to come. Hi, I'm Craig Harden, Press Plus intern. If you miss any recent episodes of Press Plus, you can catch them only on the Press Plus website at jsonline.com. And while you're there, take a few minutes to read about the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel or area boys and girls basketball team. Sit tight, because Press Plus will return with your host, Mr. Gary Howard. Hi, I'm Marcia Mather. Create your outdoor living space for family and friends together with furniture from Lackey & Joyce. For over 15 years, we have been the leader in providing quality outdoor and casual furniture along with accessories to enhance your home. We look forward to working with you to extend your living space to the outdoors, providing an atmosphere you will be proud of for years to come. We invite you to visit the Lackey & Joyce showrooms and talk to our creative designers today. What does it take to become a leader? Our patients know. It takes the finest minds in medicine. It takes an academic medical center. Less than 2% of America's hospitals are academic medical centers. They're rare. That's why our patients know we're the smart choice for the finest care. Freighted and the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice, it's academic. H-O-R-S! One more, you out. I got you now. I thought you was in the AB. Now you don't have to worry about missing something. Start over. AT&T U-verse doesn't have it. Time Warner Cable does. Upgrade to digital cable for less than $15 a month. Hey, big man. Wanna play a game of horse? Nah, I just wanna embarrass you. You scared? Come on. There are a lot of nice little sales out there. This isn't one of them. This is Boston Store Capacity Days, the biggest sale of the season, with thousands of ways to save, including over 150 super bonus buys. Plus, get a free gift with any Estee Lauder purchase of $29.50 or more. Spend $55 and get even more gifts. Capacity Days, not a nice little sale, a great big sale. Now through April 21st. Boston Store.
Ball School baseball program has been able to enjoy a couple of big time milestones. We'll check in on their progress in the season's final press pass. Living Word Lutheran High School in Jackson is coming off its first ever conference championship on the diamond. The Timberwolves were also playing their first game on the school's new ball diamond, hosting Greendale Martin Luther. Living Word is very young this year. Freshman Tristan DeBow gets to throw the first pitch on the new field, which is still a work in progress, but should be nice when complete. Martin Luther strikes in the top of the first when Adam Voss shows who's boss. Jacob Reinke, who had singled and stolen two bases, scores the game's first run. The Spartans would add two more in the first. Senior Nick Young got the start for the Spartans. He was bringing the heat, striking out the first two T-Wolves batters, then after a walk, striking out one more to retire the side. Jacob Reinke finds himself at third base again in the second inning, but this time Tristan DeBow bears down and strikes out Ben Schreib to get out of the jam. Living Word loads the bases in the bottom of the frame. Freshman Cameron Olson comes through by drawing the walk. Sophomore Cody Wigan trots home with the team's first run. Now it's not the most exciting way to score, but the Timberwolves will take another when Austin Massey draws the free pass, allowing Jake Wonder to score. Third inning now, the wild pitch is back to the landscape block wall. It'll bounce off the wall back to the catcher, making for a close play at the plate, but Adam Voss is safe with the head first dive. Greendale Martin Luther goes on to a 12-5 victory in a sloppy game overall, but on a great day for baseball. A lot of us have been waiting to get out on the links for the first time this spring, but the guys at Kettle Moraine have already been making fine shots. The lasers are honored as our Haas Automotive Group Team of the Week. It was a perfect day for golf as Kettle Moraine hit the links Wednesday to hone their skills. The Lasers were coming off a victory in the Washington County Invitational, where a fierce win toyed with each squad. But Kettle Moraine scratched out the title. We had our two and three guy, Nick Johnson and Ryan Franklin, played good. I didn't play personally so well, but we still got away with the win. So Arrowhead, uh, Arrowhead definitely didn't show up, and we needed that for the win. Uh, so it was a crazy day. I mean, hard course conditions and. Uh, we played good and we pulled it out, so hopefully we do it again. It was the first major meet of the season, and third-ranked KM was up against stiff competition with seven other ranked opponents, including number one Arrowhead, number two Marquette, and fourth-ranked Catholic Memorial. Everybody's got a chance of winning it, so out on the course, you really don't know, so every shot counts. Uh, we really had no clue that we were going to win when we came in. We didn't think that we had our best day, and no other teams did either, so we got away with them. Even though it wasn't pretty last Saturday, Nick Johnson wasn't surprised at his team's win, if only because of the golfers the Lasers boast. We have great talent. We have uh, great motivation throughout the whole team. We push each other. We try to beat each other every time we play. And uh, I think that goes for everybody. Despite the triumph and the confidence that goes with it, the guys aren't getting ahead of themselves. Each day brings new challenges, including more quality opponents. You know, each day is a new day. Um, I guess we don't really look back on the last tournament. We just keep looking forward and just play our best the next round. There's a lot of good guys in the state, and our conference in our area especially, I would say we have the toughest. A lot of good teams to compete against, so it's going to be, it's going to be a toss-up. Who plays the best every week? It's going to be exciting. Coach Mike Duchin presents the Hydra Motor Group Team of the Week play. We'll check in with one of the area's top fast pitch softball teams next on Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. Anything's possible. Life's busy. Work all day, cook, clean. Wait, I can help you with that one. It's Heiser's Spring Inventory Cleaning Event, where you leave the cleaning to us. Heiser's Spring Cleanup Event. Big dealer discounts, huge savings, and get a Molly Mae $500 home cleaning with purchase of any new vehicle. Maybe you don't need the help. Maybe the kids will pitch in. Yeah, right. Hi, I'm Marcia Mather. Create your outdoor living space for family and friends together with furniture from Lackey & Joyce. 
For over 15 years, we have been the leader in providing quality outdoor and casual furniture along with accessories to enhance your home. We look forward to working with you to extend your living space to the outdoors, providing an atmosphere you will be proud of for years to come. We invite you to visit the Lackey & Joyce showrooms and talk to our creative designers today. There are a lot of nice little sales out there. This isn't one of them. This is Boston Store Capacity Days, the biggest sale of the season, with thousands of ways to save, including over 150 super bonus buys. Plus, get a free gift with any Estee Lauder purchase of $29.50 or more. Spend $55 and get even more gifts. Capacity Days, not a nice little sale, a great big sale. Now through April 21st. Boston Store. What does it take to combat the various forms of cancer? Our patients know. It takes specialists that focus on specific cancer types. It takes an academic medical center like Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. Less than 2% of America's hospitals are academic medical centers. They're rare, which is why our patients know we're the smart choice for cancer care. Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice in cancer care, it's academic. High school seniors, you could receive a $1,000 college scholarship thanks to the Lackey & Joy's Preps Plus Scholarship Fund. Pick up an application form at any Lackey & Joy's now through May 15th. Lackey & Joy's will award two $1,000 Preps Plus college scholarships. For more information, visit Lackey & Joy's website at www.lackeyandjoy's.com. Did you know that shoulder injuries affect about 6 million people in the U.S. each year? Hello, I'm Kimberly Kane. Joining me now is Dr. William Roche, Director of Sports Medicine at Freighter and the Medical College of Wisconsin and Team Physician for the Milwaukee Brewers. Dr. Roche, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Why are shoulder injuries so common in the U.S. and what, uh, what are some of the main causes? Well, if you think about it, uh, the shoulder positions the hand in, in space, and with most sports, we use the hands. Because of that, it's injured fairly frequently. Whether it be throwing a baseball or simply painting the kitchen ceiling, we can irritate things. So how do you treat these injuries? Well, in most cases, physical therapy. Most uh, shoulder injuries are strains of the rotator cuff. They get better quickly. In a case where you can't move your arm, it's a more severe injury, then surgery may come into play. And what can people do to minimize the chance that they will injure their shoulders? Keep the shoulder healthy, and with regards to, uh, with regards to that, I mean the rotator cuff. If you keep the rotator cuff healthy, the shoulder stays healthy. Dr. Rash, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. If you'd like to learn more about the Sports Medicine Center at Freighter and the Medical College, go online at freighter.com slash sports. Greendale's fast pitch softball team returns both of its pitchers from last season, and the Panthers have high hopes for 2010. Super smooth Tim Muma has more in the Lackey and Joy Spotlight. The Woodland Conference is sure to be a battle all season on the diamond, and Greendale looks to be one squad fighting for top billing in the black division, following a third place finish last year. I think that we have a really good chance at conference. Uh, we are a little bit of a younger team. Uh, we don't have any freshmen, but um, we have a lot of juniors and seniors that started off uh, the freshman year on varsity. We have a lot of talent returning this year. Um, I mean, if we play our game, we, our possibilities are endless. Um, obviously, conference is a goal, so you know, play our game one game at a time pretty much and see how things go. The Panthers are in an interesting position with seven returning starters, but only two of those are seniors. So they're still relatively young, but with plenty of experience. 
Coach Sarah Loffer says the core group is dependable and the rest of the girls do their jobs. The players agree. I think we have a solid base that we have because we have at least seven returning starters. And being able to work with most of them last year, I think that it makes it easier for us to do well this year. I think it's really great because we all bonded really well last year. We, we lost one player, um, but it was really important. We lost Kaylin Hogan. She was a really important player to this team, but also we got more experience overall, everyone else. So I also think we're going to do better. Because little has changed in 2010, including their pitchers, all-conference first-teamer Jocelyn Bykowski and sophomore standout Andrea Waldera, expectations for Greendale are raised, especially considering the success of the program in recent years, including the 06 state title. I don't think we feel that much pressure. I mean, we're having fun while we're doing it, so um, we're ready. I think it just makes us try so much harder because we strive to be like them. I think we have really good potential and we could win a lot of games. And I think we do have an all-around solid team which could really help out this year. Greendale will rely on solid defense behind strong pitching to win games. And though they're able to get runners on base, their Achilles heel could be driving in runs. A few times we have left people out on base our uh, first couple games, but you know, we're working on that and I think that we're going to really improve over the year. I think our defense is really great. I mean, everyone in the infield and outfield are just really good ball players. The Panthers came away with a couple of blowout wins to start the season, including this game against Brown Deer. And the Panthers are convinced that last year's experience, combined with this season's talent, is the perfect formula for a state run. I do feel different. Um, much more confident than I used to be. Um, I mean, I've stuck with the same coaching staff all four years and it's been easier, so you, like, you know how to work with them and it's just, you're so much more confident. You just feel like you know what you're doing now. It's more of a basis of putting it all together. That's a wrap for this week's episode and the season of Preps Plus, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's high school sports show. Please be sure to join us again next fall for our 14th season. Until then, I'm Gary Howard. Peace. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel's Preps Plus is brought to you by Boston Store. Capacity Days is their biggest sale of the season. Check out their super bonus buys throughout the store. By the Heiser Automotive Group. Visit one of their many locations or shop online at heiser.com. Buy Time Warner Cable. Order the All the Best package, three great services on one simple bill at one low price. Buy Pick and Save, the official grocer of Preps Plus. And buy Freighter the Medical College of Wisconsin. For the smart choice, it's academic. And buy Lackey and Joys. Find a great selection of spring clothing and outerwear, footwear, camping, and paddle sports.